One, two, three. Hi, my name is Rex Hausman, and uh, I'm applying to the Lacoste 2016 Atelier Program with the Savannah College of Art and Design. I'm about to take you on a tour of my personal studio at the Hausman Millworks, which is a studio program that I built with my family. Um, and all the studios, it's 32 studios, and about 70 people that call the Millworks home in San Antonio, Texas. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to some work. This is Duomo Sunrise which was part of the McNay's 60th anniversary uh, this past year. Uh, there were 18 paintings, and I was one of six San Antonio artists to celebrate the anniversary of the McNay Museum of Art's 60th celebration. As we kind of pin down, we've got a project that we worked on with the Guggenheim in mind. Um, it's a play on words that deals with, uh, if we all go to the Guggenheim on a Sunday, what happens if we put a Sunday on the Guggenheim? So I worked with Scott Allen of Perkins and Will in New York City. Uh, we created um, 3D renderings. Also, Lee and Mike um, here in San Antonio who are architects. Um, worked with 3D printing with my brother and Re3D, which is a startup in Austin, Texas. And this was the end product. As we move on in here, you see we just finished celebrating Christmas. You see what some of the other studios works. Um, we're going to come into our conference room. This is some show cards that I've worked on in the past. This was a particularly wonderful project with Neiman Marcus San Antonio that dealt with fashion. Uh, the whole concept was to create art that's museum quality and make it accessible to everyday people through the windows at Neiman Marcus in San Antonio. Uh, the two paintings are now part of collections, and so are the whole, and actually Savannah College of Art and Design owns the donut tires. I had to work with people to make paintings come to life. So I worked with fashion photographers, family, friends, and created an installation and group of photos that showed the story of a painting coming to life. As we kind of move on to our sketchbooks, we come over here. Here's our logo at the Millworks, a creative community, grow where you're planted. Uh, traveling the world for about six months, uh, meeting with people, having a teaching, uh, teaching um, opportunity with Professor Steve Knudsen, Patrick Huey, uh, uh, Ryan Baca, and a number of other people, Pat Professor Murphy and Tim uh, Keating in Lacoste, and I made these books as I was traveling and teaching. And uh, we did a whole project on uh, travel portfolio, which came out really, really, really well. Uh, the students loved it. People seemed to really engage. And the concept was to create like an archaic Facebook, you know, like an actual live feed on Facebook, but with drawings and words and text. Uh, as we continue on, you'll kind of see some work of the Millworks. Um, we have 32 studios here that we've built over about nine years. It's been the work of many hands, and it's been a real, real pleasure to be a part of. Uh, as we come in here, I'm leading you to my personal studio. Uh, this was a project called The Kitten Project, which was making kitten memes um, a little bigger. I worked with SNP SA, which is a local nonprofit, to actually have kitten adoption at a gallery opening. Um, we created, I created 10 paintings that were part of the whole series. Uh, that became bags and pillows and different objects that are uh, small but dr kind of spinning off of the paintings. The paintings making products and becoming part of the process. Again, working with a lot of other people to make a vision complete. So then you come into my studio here, uh, which is my library and my office. My production studio is outside as well. This was a project called Old Man in the Sea as I worked with uh, Professor Steve Knudsen at SCAD Savannah, and then um, worked with a number of people here locally in San Antonio, 17 artists to create an exhibition for National Poetry Month San Antonio. Um, this is my personal process, which is drawings and writings and thinking about how to make the painting possible while reading Hemingway. And then we turned it over to other artists as well who integrated their thought process with works. And this was the painting that came out of all these drawings. So you can also see text involved in the painting itself 
with a central figure. Actually, that lion is from uh, um, Oglethorpe Square in Savannah, and then the other lion is from the New York City Public Library. As we come down to here, uh, this is another project that I just threw together, just kind of off the cuff. The, the plant is actually made by my dad, and then this little panda has been around for as long as I have been. And this was a photo that was part of a solo show in Kansas City at Kara Cabeza Contemporary. Um, that was after visiting Beijing, China with UTSA and the President's Office. We took five artists over to China, thanks to President Romo and the office, uh, Arturo Ameda, uh, the chief curator, where I was drawing with water at the steps of um, the Temple of Heaven. Um, it's a really interesting story uh, between myself and this other artist. We connected through art. And uh, we didn't speak the same language. He was about 75, I was about uh, 27. But through art, we connected. And because of that project, I had a residency in Hong Kong and created this panda suit that wasn't realized in Hong Kong, but later realized in Kansas City. Um, again, working on the process of fashion and integrating paintings into another product. I uh, worked with um, one of the studios here at the Millworks and we created an old t-shirt as the inside is a New York City subway map somewhere where I go often. Uh, my grandmother's jacket inside and then buttons and pins and patches from Hong Kong. And the uh, uh, fabric itself is actually from uh, Goldfish Street, uh, which is where the clo real close to the uh, fabric district. So with that in mind, um, with Lacoste in mind, you've seen a bit of my studio and a bit of my process. What I hope happens is at the Atelier program, my studio door is always open. I'm always collaborating with faculty and with students to create something together that could be really, really wonderful using painting as a way to generate ideas. My name again is Rex Hausman. Please check my website, rexhausman.com, for more detail on projects, in particular the processional from Lacoste. Uh, please feel free to uh, email or call the references, and I hope this video finds you well. Thank you very much, and have a great day.